The idea of a, of a video game is that it's a fantasy. The whole point is to teleport you to somewhere different. It's the end of the Autobahn for you. And we knew there was this aspect of a spy world out there that we don't get to cover all during the film. So in Cars 2, the video game, the action takes place after the close of the movie where you and your best friends are attending Chrome, a spy academy where you're learning spycraft. Hey, Tom, did you see that jump right there? It's about racing and saving the world from a criminal mastermind. You may have found me, but it's too late. Combat racing is you take your conventional racing and you add these spy gadgets. It takes what would be three laps around a very cool track and makes it three laps around a very dangerous, exciting track. We've invested a lot of time in creating a lot of spy gadgetry. Oil slicks, missiles, machine guns, EMP bursts to try and slow down the other cars. Just like in old spy movies, all the gadgets fold up inside the car. It's almost like a Swiss Army knife with all the different attachments that pop out. The hatch pops open, metal pieces fold out. Where else could you fire missiles off of a car, man? Only when you're a spy in Chrome. Awesome, the game experience is going to be what each player wants it to be. You're able to go out and go and develop pretty much any custom mission that you want. All of it can be played multiplayer, from a single player all the way up to four players. It's you and your friends joining the Spy Academy now. New car joining. And it keeps you wanting to play more and trying to up your skills over your friends. Cars 2 is really about being with your friends and having a good time. There you are, buddy! Get him. We can sit down with each other, race, use weapons, and just have a good time together.